Hi, I'm Tiffany Domina. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my website is howtoentrepreneur.org and my mission is to help you grow a business from idea to enterprise. So if you or someone you know wants to start or grow a business, definitely stop by howtoentrepreneur.org and check out my free course. It's a framework to help you grow a business from idea to enterprise. So today I'll be doing a review of SiteGround hosting and SiteGround is one of the most popular um, if you type in best WordPress hosting or best hosting companies you'll see SiteGround come up several times they're very um, highly recommended by notable people like uh, WP Beginner um, which is a very high traffic site authority site on WordPress um, WordPress has actually officially recommended them and there's a lot of um, other uh, high, highly reputable people who recommend SiteGround. So in this review, I just want to talk to you about the pros and cons so we can evaluate if this is the best option for you. Um, even though SiteGround is a very a good company and they offer a valuable service and they're, uh, they've been highly recommended by several um, other people that doesn't necessarily mean it's the right fit for you so I'll be giving you the pros and the cons in this review so you can evaluate whether their web hosting their WooCommerce hosting their WordPress hosting their cloud hosting which option is appropriate and um, whether this is a good fit for you at all so when you decide to start a business or take an existing business online there are lots of decisions you have to make so let's make the web hosting decision an easy decision for you you already have to decide what themes to use how you're gonna get or keep your website traffic and what content is going to work best for your website visitors so making all of those decisions to take a business online can take a lot of time research and thought so my goal here in this site ground review is to make your web host choice as simple as possible and I don't want to deflect my personal preferences on you but instead I want to help you decide whether site ground is a good fit for your business so similar to picking a pair of shoes or an outfit you wouldn't want to pick the one just because I pick it um, unless of course I'm a model or a designer or something you know uh, instead you want to know the fit is good for you and your style so my goal is to help you to decide if SiteGround will fit for you and to set things straight I don't currently host any websites with SiteGround however I do think they check all the boxes as a great option for certain website situations and I'll share those in my review I'll also share my personal preference for you to evaluate because people always ask but my goal is for you to choose your best not mine or anyone else's and in this site ground review I'll be giving you what it is how it works pros and cons what it does well what it does not what others are saying both good and bad uh, my recommendation and some alternatives in case you want to do some comparison shopping so if you decide at any point that you want to skip the remainder of the review and go ahead and try SiteGround for yourself then visit howtoentrepreneur.org slash SiteGround again howtoentrepreneur.org slash SiteGround and that is an affiliate link so when you go there and you use um, the referral from How to Entrepreneur, then I would get a commission at no additional cost to you so um, let's get started with this um, with this review so let's first start with what is a good web host and what do you need to look for in a good web hosting company so web hosting has a lot of technology language especially when you're comparing one to another and if you're just starting your comparison or even if you've done it before it can seem like a lot of mumbo-jumbo and it's important to know the most important things you'll need to look for so you don't get sidetracked by some unimportant things and unfortunately some of the common things people get sidetracked by sidetracked by that leads them to a bad web host are bad guru advice they're trusting uh, you know a not they're trusting a guru but not necessarily a good one um, branding 
So they might look at the logo, the colors, and think that um, the aesthetics of the web host site is nice. Um, they might look at the web host and their web design. They might look at the cheap prices or the great discounts. And all of these can lead people to choosing a web host, not necessarily a good one. Instead of those things, it's important to watch for integrity, um, whether they are um, going to be honest with you, um, whether if you have an issue with your website, you want them to give you the best option for you and not necessarily um, the, the best option for them because sometimes they may upsell you into something you don't necessarily need. So um, you want a web host who's going to have a reputation of integrity, um, who is going to be trying to do what's best for you and your company. You want um, a web host who's going to make sure that your site has good performance. Um, you're looking for speed. You don't want a slow site. And um, you're looking for storage space. Depending on how much intellectual property you'll be storing online in the servers, um, you'll need the space to accommodate that so that um, your site will stay live and so that um, um, your site speed will be optimal. Also, you want customer satisfaction. So you don't want to go to a web host where they have a lot of customer complaints because unfortunately that could say um, how well they're going to treat you as well. You also want great customer support. If you plan to use your website as a part of your marketing plan, um, it's likely that the website will drive traffic for you and that it'll drive customers to awareness about your business. And if your site continues to go down or if you have issues with your site, you want to be able to pick up your pick up the phone or um, send a ticket or however to communicate to the web host quickly and to get a quick response. And if you have trouble with customer support, then it can be a lapse and cause user a, a bad user experience for your customers. And you don't want that. Um, also, the features that support what you'll want to do. So you, depending on if you're a developer, if you're not a developer, if you um, want just a simple business card type website, or if you want an e-commerce full-blown website, uh, what content management system you may want, um, how much technical assistance you may need, how much training and advice and input you may want. All of these are factors that would help you to decide which web hosting company is more appropriate for your circumstances. And also the interface. Um, you want to be able to log on to the web host and not feel overwhelmed about how to use it. If you have to ask a lot of questions um, or if you're finding yourself doing a lot of research, taking time away from your primary business functions, then uh, it may or may not be a good sign for you. That will be up to you um, if you are willing to do that extra legwork. So if you want more advice on how to pick a good web host, I have a full article um, on how to pick a good web host and I'll leave a link in the description box to this video so or to this post so that you can stop by How to Entrepreneur and check out any of the resources that are included here. So what is SiteGround as an overview? Um, there are a few web hosting companies that are recommended by WordPress, the largest content management system online, and SiteGround is one of them for good reasons. After the EIG takeover of majority of the web hosting companies, there are a few major hosting companies that are independently owned, and SiteGround is one of the few. The owners and operating team are all in collaboration. They are not publicly traded and they don't have a monopolized focus on satisfying shareholders. Instead, SiteGround is primarily focused on quality service and quality product, which isn't everyone's focus in the web hosting world. So there are quite a few articles, forums, and videos online that show privately owned hosting companies with large subscriber bases and good services who are bought out by a company called IEG. And as a result, 
the operational staff is removed, the customer support gets worse, the customer websites are moved to previously owned servers, downtime goes up, and customers get frustrated. So this isn't something that's unique to how to me mentioning it. This is uh, really common knowledge online. If you look up IEG Takeover, you'll find quite a few articles where there are complaints about this happening. So. Um, so since most of the largest hosting companies are owned by e, e I, I, e, G, sorry, even once you're disappointed with one of their companies, it's likely you'll fall into their lap again, unless you choose an independently owned hosting company like SiteGround. So SiteGround is led primarily by three leaders, Tinko, Nokolov, Renetta, Sankova, and Nokole Todorov. Now, I may have said that wrong, and I apologize if I did, but um, that is the best pronunciation I have for those three names. And they each make sure SiteGround is growing strategically and serving the customers well. So added to them, SiteGround has divisional leaders and 400 employees. They host 1.9 million websites, and as word gets out, they're consistently growing. So according to them, the, they process 1,500 plus tickets, 1,000 plus phone calls, and 3,000 plus chat requests daily. So that's really a lot of work that SiteGround is doing, and definitely kudos to SiteGround. So how does SiteGround work? SiteGround is a web hosting platform. That means they manage several machines that ensure your website is served accurately to visitors on demand. So SiteGround maintains servers in various countries across the world. So web users and customers can have the experience of quick website load times regardless of their location. When you decide to create a website online, one of the first things you'll have to decide is who will host your website. And in summary, hosting is the storage space on the internet. Similar to a phone storage or a computer storage, in order to put word content, written content, images, and audio online, you have to have a server that will deliver it to the end user when they want to see it. So hosting isn't optional. However, there are options like free, shared, VPS, dedicated servers, and cloud servers. And SiteGround offers shared VPS and dedicated cloud servers. That means as your site grows, they have enough server space to handle that and still deliver a good experience to your visitors. So when someone comes to your website, SiteGround will make sure the content you've uploaded will be displayed to the end user. And that's their primary job as a web host. Added to the basic function of displaying your website for you, SiteGround stands superior to most companies because they deliver the content faster than most with more uptime than most. And if you have problems along the way, they also deliver superior customer service. So how do you get started with SiteGround? To get started with SiteGround, you have to first um, pick your hosting plan. So let's take a look. They have their web hosting, managed hosting, WooCommerce hosting, and cloud hosting. So what you would have to do is um, choose which one is most appropriate for your situation. If you want um, their norm, their shared hosting, um, then you would pick one of these plans. They have their startup, their grow big, and their go geek plans. Now, I want you to pay attention that these special prices are for their first, for your first, um, um, for your first contract, basically, whether you choose one year or whether you choose three years, and you'll be able to lock in this pricing. But once it's time for you to renew, then you go up to the regular pricing. So pay attention to that because a lot of um, the reviews that I read were from people who uh, hadn't paid attention to the difference between the special introductory pricing and the renewal pricing. So they were kind of shocked by the um, 
the difference in price when it was time to renew. So choose, first you would choose a hosting plan, then you would register a domain or transfer an existing domain. Then you would install your content management system, whether that's going to be WordPress or whether that's Drupal or Magento or whichever one you feel most comfortable with, and then you would customize your site. So I've included a tutorial here to help you learn how to build a site with SiteGround in case um, this is going to be an option for you. And who is SiteGround for? Um, creating a business online or taking an existing business online requires quite a bit of skill and support. So it's not a one-man show. SiteGround isn't a standalone solution for success online and neither is any hosting solution. However, if you need a free trial, traffic generation, paid advertising, social media marketing training, additional support from like-minded business owners, more storage space with more bandwidth, um, something else uh, someone else to deal with the cPanel or technical issues um, built WordPress websites in minutes or get on-demand comments and user feedback or a place to ask peer-to-peer -peer questions about succeeding online then those under those conditions I would recommend a different web host however if you need a hosting solution to store your website content with good customer support or you want or to enable you to use WordPress, Drupal, Joomla, or Magento content management system options, then definitely SiteGround is a very good option. Um, so as far as the tools and the training, SiteGround offers tutorials on how to use their services and they offer technical support that's been raved about several places online. Um, they have 24-7 support by phone, email, and chat. So it should be fairly easy, easy for you to get the help you need if you needed it. Um, what do they do well? They offer great customer service. They innovate technology to improve the hosting service. For example, they were trailblazers in offering free SSL certificates. Um, they develop proprietary AI software that prevents 5 million plus attacks daily. And they were among the first to use Linux containers. Um, they manage your websites to ensure up-to-date WordPress is downloaded to make sure the website caching is automated and the latest PHP versions are being used. They have a team of security experts who are monitoring the websites for vulnerabilities and writing custom rules to prevent malware, spyware, hackers, and other unethical internet attacks. And they have lots of satisfied customers. In fact, their internal surveys show their customer satisfaction rating at 97%. They offer shared VPS dedicated and cloud hosting. They can register new domains and renew them. Um, they offer free domain transfer. That's equivalent to the price of the domain registration. And they have data centers in Chicago, London, Amsterdam, and Singapore to ensure the fastest load time for international users. So what don't they do well? They offer a metered service. So you're charged based on how much website traffic you have. Um, they don't clean your site if you get malware. You have to pay aside from normal hosting fees. And they host WordPress, Magento, Drupal, and Joomla. Um, so they host several different content management systems. That's actually something that they do do well, sorry. Um, and as far as SiteGround, the review roundup, I've compiled several um, negative and positive reviews so you can see what other customers say about their strengths and their weaknesses. And this isn't to bash SiteGround at all because they're really an amazing company, but it's simply to help you have realistic expectations so you can decide whether or not to become a customer. So as you can see from Shopper Approved, they have a huge monopoly of positive reviews. 3,538, which is 90% of the reviewers, have given them five stars. And 3% um, is four stars. And um, most all of the below 3% um, is less than one star, so or less than 1%. So you have uh, 27 three-star ratings, 10 um, 
two star ratings and 37 one star ratings so there's definitely a monopoly of people who recommend of people who are satisfied with the pricing and of people who say they will buy again which is a great thing um, I've also compiled video reviews so that you can take a look at what other um, what others are saying about SiteGround. As far as the the positive feedback, um, I took some time and went through several of the reviews on feed, on uh, SiteGround third party reviews and read through them to see what people were saying both positive and negative about SiteGround so that I can share that information with you and make it easier for you in your search to figure out whether this is the service you want to use. So of the 3,538 positive reviews, some common positive feedback that I read was that they're amazing, polite, professional, patient, and knowledgeable in their support. They've been in business for a while and they're reliable. They have fast infrastructure. Their technical support is very helpful to novices and even provides suggestions beyond the questions asked. And they help resolve user errors like deleted sites very fast and very friendly. So, um, and they also had some people who um, gave their negative feedback. And like I mentioned before, um, of the three, one to three stars, that was 2% of the total reviews but these were what the common uh, reviews were when people did have something negative to say so um, they said things like they didn't like their price increase prices are lower for longer term plans and when you renew prices are higher than the inter introductory rate some customers didn't notice the comparison between the introductory rate and the renewal rates but it is listed on their website so I'll show you again how they have their special pricing which is the introductory pricing and then they have their regular pricing so it is a substantial increase um, in the pricing um, so you just want to be mindful of that it's more than a hundred percent increase so um, there some some uh, negative reviewers said their site went down because they went over the allotted amount of traffic for their plan so when you look at SiteGround's uh, plans they have metered plans and this is supposed to be helpful since these are shared plans and you're sharing the server with other website owners um, they restrict how much bandwidth you can use from the server because otherwise it causes the user experience on other sites possibly to be affected so that's why they have the metered plans and it's really supposed to be helpful for the overall experience of the end user but um, it could also be um, something that could be not as helpful for the website owner um, so it's kind of a balance it would be something you have to decide um, so the sites if you do go over the allotted amount of traffic for your plan then what happens is your site will go down um, so you definitely want to make sure to get the right plan for the amount of traffic and for the amount of storage you need so if if necessary consult with the team at SiteGround so that they can help you match up um, your needs um, another reviewer said they were refunded less than they thought because they purchased third-party services like domain registration so when you um, make purchases from SiteGround um, they're able to refund some things but some things they're not able to refund because like domain registration um, in this case is a third-party service so one customer complained that they that um, most of the employees are not from the US they're from Eastern Europe so if that's something that is um, that you don't want if you want uh, you know the employees to be from a certain location um, then that is that's something you won't find at SiteGround they, they do have employees from different areas in the world and the prices are significantly higher up to 70% for renewal so like I showed you before 
um, the price is more than double for um, the plans. So uh, that's something that you want to be mindful of. So after reading the negative reviews, I believe there are situational issues, but overall SiteGround is trying their best to satisfy each of their customers, and there are quite a few of them. Um, SiteGround performs customer support in a customized way, which makes them even more unique. Um, so for the most helpful positive SiteGround review, um, one of the reviewers from Shopper Approved, who left a four-star rating, said, Great customer service. They respond quick and are friendly and helpful 24-7. They assist very well and also have the patience to help you step-by-step step if you're not so experienced with building a website, for instance. Now we have a nice-looking website for a very affordable price. Thank you, SiteGround and customer support team. And you have the most negative, the most helpful negative SiteGround review was... Um, and this previous SiteGround, this customer was a SiteGround customer. And uh, they described their experience um, of using SiteGround and how the price went up and they didn't like that. And they also didn't like um, using the cPanel for personal and aesthetic reasons. Um, they were, this uh, video review, they were basically comparing three different services and in the end they decided to switch to flywheel because they preferred the user experience they preferred um, things about flywheel now um, this is just something for you to evaluate to see if it if um, you might have the same interests or buyers buying motives as this person but um, of course this is a preference and so another negative review from Shopper Approved shows the subjective experience of one disgruntled SiteGround customer and how the customer support team responded to it. So this customer says SiteGround's business poli policies are customer hostile, requiring exorbitant extra fees for routine services that other similar companies do not charge at all. One of their tech support reps lied to me about what I could could or could not do and the company refused to stand by what the rep told me. Another rep was rude to the point of making me walk away from their service a full month before my payments ran out. This company purports themselves to be a US company and maybe legally they have a US president I mean presence, but I doubt that I ever encountered a single employee on US soil. It was very apparent that they are Eastern European based and English is a second language for almost all. The reason I bring this up is not to discriminate against those from another country, but is intended to warn potential clients that the individuals in this company showed me that they do not share common values like customer service with potential clients here in the US. So this was um, definitely a negative review from a customer. And I just wanted to show how SiteGround responded to this. So SiteGround responded saying, Hi Jeff, we, we were sorry to hear about this case. We take customer feedback and satisfaction very seriously and make sure to review complaints in detail and help to resolve them if possible. We noticed your review online and three different departments, customer care, technical support, billing department, took the time to investigate the described situation. We carefully checked your case and we would like to add some clarifications to the points you've raised. First of all, please let us mention that SiteGround is an international company. We have employees all over the world with the biggest part of them located in Europe where the roots of the company are. We do not claim to be US based still. Our customer care and technical teams are trained to assist and resolve issues in accordance with the best customer centrist practices. We can see you have inquired on several occasions for options to transfer multiple websites to our hosting. Our team has explained that with the purchase of a hosting account, we provide one free website transfer or one full cPanel restore, as well as exactly how much the transfer of your remaining 40 websites would cost. We informed you that additional website migration is not cheap since it involves manual work for transferring the files and configuring and testing them on our server by our transfer professionals. Also, please let us mention that it is not our goal to make migration through 
third-party service is difficult, but you have to consider that their method required root access to the server, which is not included in the price range of the plan you had purchased. The review of the tickets and the chats from last week shows that there was no false information provided by our reps nor rude attitude. Since you discussed the issue on several different occasions, the representatives might not have been able to see the entire picture and understand the actual reason for you choosing a certain plan and thus provide you that best action plan. We are sorry if there was a misunderstanding at some point, but considering the information our reps had at hand, they provided you with the most suitable solution at the time and relevant information regards site ground team. So I thought they handled that situation very well. And I just wanted to show you some of the, uh, an example of the level of their customer care. So as far as their pricing, SiteGround offers three main categories of hosting, shared, dedicate, shared dedicated hosting, and cloud servers. Um, so, And they also offer reseller hosting. So for a new site, shared hosting should be fine. That should be enough server space. Um, and the prices break down like this, where you start out with the $395 plan um, or the $595 or the $1195. It would be based on how much server space you need. So VPS hosting, like other hosting companies, dedicate host, dedicated hosting is more expensive. So VPS and dedicated are the more expensive options because you are being given more storage space and more bandwidth to use on the servers. So um, if you want a VPS or dedicated, hosting then the prices the price ranges are going to be higher because at that point you're using more of their um, storage space so the hosting the dedicated hosting ranges from eighty dollars to two hundred and forty dollars per month depending on how much storage and bandwidth you need and as far as the reseller hosting they also have the option where you can basically uh, become your own hosting company and resell SiteGround's hosting to customers. Maybe if you do a web design business or SEO business or something like that, where it would make it easier for you to just host the sites for the customer, um, then SiteGround offers a bulk account purchase and discounts for reseller hosting. So as far as my final opinion, overall SiteGround is a very nice option. They provide a very reliable service and their customer service is superb. So if you have a problem with metering based on the amount of traffic to your website, then or if you'll want support for other content management systems aside from Drupal, Joomla, Magento, or WordPress, or you won't want the price to increase when it's time for the renewal, then in those cases you should consider an alternative. Um, but other than that, SiteGround is a great option that maybe you should take a look at if you are in the market for a hosting company that's independently owned, that has good customer service, and that has really a high level of performance. But if um, if you're looking for an alternative and you still want to do some comparison shopping, then my personal preference is Wealthy Affiliate. However, if you're looking for something they don't offer, then check out um, SiteGround or another alternative that I've listed. So, um, so Wealthy Affiliate, the reason why I personally use them for hosting is because of the training that they offer. They offer really good training on how to maximize your presence online, um, how to monetize your website, how to get traffic, several different ways of doing that. Um, and also you have the opportunity of networking with lots of other entrepreneurs to share ideas of how they're using the internet effectively to grow their businesses. So coupled with a powerful hosting suite, 24-7 um, support, 500,000 visitors a month in bandwidth, one login for multiple sites, 50 sites hosted per account, 30 gigs of space, marketing coaching, um, market research tool. Um, aside from those things, um, those are the things that really make Wealthy Affiliates stick out. Um, but 
there's also another option that I just recently did a video on and that is A2 Hosting and you should take a look at them as well and um, A2 Hosting offers a meter site so they don't charge based on the amount of traffic you have um, they maintain stable pricing in consecutive years and they're also well known for reliable service and fast speed and they host multiple different content management systems similar to SiteGround so you can host um, customer relations management uh, content management uh, they they host uh, forum content management systems e-commerce and so you can check out a2 hosting you can check out my uh, video review all of that is available here if you're interested I've also done a review of WP Engine if you're interested in them and then Mac Highway is another alternative that you can take a look at but I'll say my favorite cPanel host is Big Scoots and I've done a video review of them as well and I also have a review of them here at uh, Wealthy or at, at How to Entrepreneur sorry um, so after reviewing dozens of web hosts I've done this I've compiled a list of my top six recommended web hosts for small businesses and if you're interested in that stop by Hot Entrepreneur and check out um, my top six recommended web hosts for small businesses so that's all I have for this review hopefully this site ground review was helpful for you and that it really gave you the clarity and the information you needed in order to determine if site ground is the right fit for you um, like I said they're a very good company and I recommend them um, for certain circumstances and so I hope this review helped you to see the differences and to see the pros and cons well enough that you could decide if this is a good fit for you so if this review was helpful if you enjoyed this video please leave a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more videos like it where I do product and service reviews as well as growth strategies to help you grow a business from idea to enterprise then subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon to be notified when I upload videos and also if you haven't already and you are interested in starting or growing a business then stop by hot entrepreneur and check out my free e-courses at the bottom of each post and it's also in the menu bar across the top it'll say free course start or grow a business so that's all I have for this video and I'm really hoping to see you in the next one so have a great day and so long